Today, we will dive into the genre of cyberpunk and how it may be propaganda in our time. Now, I don't think William Gibson or Mike Pondsmith meant for it to be used as propaganda. It's just a possibility for someone to use it that way. First off is the nostalgia aspect. Even William Gibson himself said Cyberpunk 2077 is just GTA with a retro 80 skin. This is enough to bear the question, why are we celebrating the 80s so much? I understand Cyberpunk isn't the cause of this, but it holds a magnifying glass to what's happening in modern day. Why do we inject 80s nostalgia into everything modern and futuristic, even when it doesn't fit? Could it be we have no personality in our own era? Maybe so. That's plastic surgery. Plastic surgery has boomed in the 21st century and has evolved to cater to more gendered appearances. This is a simple list of surgeries one can have and the price tags on it. Plastic surgery and cybernetics have always been hallmarks of cyberpunk to quote unquote, be a better you. Next, being asocial or parasocial. As time goes by, people are more involved in the computer or TV screen. Even right now, as you're watching this, you're becoming more attached to your screen. The entire cyberpunk genre glorifies the excessive use of technology as it separates people socially. Even in current day, we see companies promoting, streaming at home, and esports. Out of every example I show, this is the most clear occurring. That's the destruction of beauty. From art to infrastructure, this is the essence of cyberpunk. Every building has been made ugly, and any genuine art is now blocked out by the hottest new piece of technology in store. Simply put, if the world is ugly, then all a company needs to do is make something not ugly to sell it. Last detail of cyberpunk is division. We have more factions than ever that's fueled by politics and social media. You can be black or white, man or woman, short or tall, virgin or playboy. There is a forum out there now dedicated to you. Even outside the internet, you have different organizations that believe themselves to be more important than others. It's becoming more important apparent with each given day. So in conclusion, is cyberpunk propaganda? Maybe? It's hard to say. I wasted my time doing this, and I guess I wasted your time showing you this. Hopefully I at least turn some heads with this, and that's all I need. Comment what you think about cyberpunk and if it has any impact on current day life and subscribe to keep up the channel. Also, you can follow me on Odyssey, Locals, and Rumble for the same content. That being said, uh, take care, and thanks for watching.